We've reached the final out. Time now for the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. The Cougars win the series finale here in Coral Gables. BYU 8, Miami 2 on this sunny Saturday. A season high, four home runs for BYU pacing the Cougars to the win. Let's start our postgame coverage by taking a look at our pitching numbers today. Brought to you by Big O Tires. It's on the rubber, presented by Big O Tires, the team you trust. BYU pitchers, and there were four of them combined to go nine innings. Hansen gets the win. He goes to five and five. He went six strong. Maybe a Sterner and Cushing each pitch an inning. So BYU pitchers throw nine. They scatter 11 hits, giving up just two runs. Both earned, striking out nine and walking one. That's outstanding. No wild pitches, one hit batsman. 143 pitches thrown on the day for BYU hurlers. For Miami. They used seven pitchers. Herrick Hernandez takes the loss, falls to three and six. He went five and a third of the nine. Nine innings for the Hurricanes. Ten hits allowed. Eight runs all earned. Ten strikeouts, four bases on balls, two wild pitches. 156 pitches thrown. Hernandez takes the loss. He falls to three and six. And Ben Hansen gets the win. He goes to five and five. There was no save, but Stone Cushing did close the game out for BYU. That's on the rubber, brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. Now for some more postgame stats presented by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. BYU scores eight runs on 10 hits, one error, seven left on base. Miami scores two runs on 11 hits, two errors, and 11 left on base. Four home runs for BYU. They came from Scow, Aloy, Reuter, and Jones. Riker Scow today, two for two with a double and a home run. Three RBI on the day. Kuhio Aloy, two for four with a home run, an RBI. Cooper Vest, two for four with an RBI. Colin Reuter, two-run shot. He was one for five. And Easton Jones, a solo shot. He was one for five with that home run resulting in an RBI. Those are the offensive stars of the day for BYU. The Cougs defeat the Hurricanes by a final score of 8-2. to two. We'll hear from a BYU player and Coach Trent Pratt coming up in two minutes on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the BYU Baseball Postgame Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Cougars 8 and Hurricanes 2. BYU takes the series finale here at Alex Rodriguez Park in Coral Gables, Florida. Our postgame coverage continues with Riker Scow joining us from around the BYU dugout. Riker, can you hear me? You got me, Riker? Yep. Loud and clear. Hey. All right. Awesome, Riker. Congrats to you and the boys. What a fun win today. Yeah, that was a good one. So you end up with a two-run home run that gives BYU their first lead of the series. Were you aware that you guys hadn't led for a minute yet when you hit that home run? Uh, that's not what I was thinking about at the time, but once I got around, it was nice to look up at the board and have a lead. Nice to finally play in front. Uh, how big a blast from Colin Ruder to get you guys back into the game, by the way? Yeah, that was awesome. He, let, he got us going with that one, and then we just continued to add on from there. You know, the baseball cliche, Rikers, that uh, hitting is contagious. Did it kind of feel that way for you guys once you got going? Yeah, for sure. Just everyone, next guy up. That's our That's been our motto today. So just next guy up, and that was the goal, and it worked out for us. And then the Coop got himself on base for you uh, in uh, in the eighth inning, an RBI double for you there. And uh, it just kind of came from all over the lineup today. I thought everyone kind of chipped in. How about you? Yeah, it was awesome. And our pitching staff did great. They threw great all game. It was a good team win. Ben Hansen went six innings, which ties his seam lo- a season long. He scattered nine hits, only allowed two runs. You needed that kind of day from Ben today, didn't you guys? Yeah, it was awesome. It was really nice to get him going all six. That way our bullpen could step in late and not have to go as long. Okay, uh, speak for the freshmen for a little bit. Uh, guys like you and crew and Cujillo, young players getting a lot of responsibility in your first year. How do you kind of view that responsibility as a young player, one of the freshmen contributing on this team? Uh, it's awesome. It's just exciting to get a chance and play. You're, you have hits in 11 of your last 15 games. How do you feel like you're seeing it right now? I feel like I'm seeing it really well. Last night, I didn't have one, but I felt like I was like I hit a bunch of balls hard right at guys, so today was nice to get a couple to fall. All right, so coming into the day, Riker, you had 16 hits, and of your 16 hits, you had two extra base hits. Today, you had two extra base hits. How do you account for that? Yeah, just seeing it up. We've been working hard, uh, just getting the ball up in the zone, and feel like I was seeing it up today, so I got it up in the air. 
And do you feel like uh, power is going to be a part of your game moving forward? Yeah, for sure. BYU gets one of three. How important is it just to get one to send you guys home the right way, Riker? So important. We play uh, UVU this Tuesday. It'll be nice to get the ball rolling, get us some momentum going into that game. And even though things haven't always been always going your way, how would you say the team uh, kind of vibe and mood has remained even when maybe results haven't been exactly what you've been wanting lately? Uh, it's just next game, next pitch, next play. Can't do anything about the pass, so just keep moving forward. Well, you move forward in a great way today, Riker. Congrats to you personally and to the team as a bunch. Congratulations again. Thank you. All right, that's Riker Scow, BYU left fielder. Riker Scow is going to hand it over to head coach Trent Pratt. We'll hear from Trent Pratt as we continue with our postgame coverage. Our final score is BYU 8 and Miami 2. The Cougs get their first ever win against the University of Miami. One of the best names in the college game for sure and a great place to play and a great result on the day for certain. Trent Pratt now joining us here postgame. Coach Pratt, congrats to you and the guys. Yeah. No, it was, it was a good game. Um, a good bounce back win for us, something that we – we just really needed so man to come from behind and, and get a lead and hold on to it you know it was a step in the right direction that was it we just talked to Riker Scout who gave you guys the lead you did not relinquish two run home run from a freshman a solo home run from another freshman in Kuhiwa Loy it's a really young team you've got Trent and those young kids are coming through in big ways they are and they're starting to grow up more and more and so hopefully you know we can just keep grinding away and we can learn how to keep getting those big hits to win games because that's the kind of it's going to take is this group just you know learn how to to win those close games and we battle we're always close but you know to, to come on top you know is a, a good thing for us today you got big hits when it mattered most you did all of your scoring all of your scoring after the fifth inning four in the sixth one in the seventh two in the eighth one in the ninth great way to battle back and then hold the lead shutting Miami down on those final six innings final five innings yeah I thought we pitched the ball pretty good all weekend so that, that's real encouraging to come here and do that and, and this park can play pretty offensive and you know Ben did a great job and <clears throat> and then Boston and Luke and, and Kush came in and I thought we pitched we did a good job pitching all weekend and if we can do that you know we'll find a way to score some runs and so that's encouraging to see leading, up, leading into next week Ben leads your team with five wins and uh, he gave you a season long tying six innings how do you feel Ben did in scattering his hits out there today <clears throat> did a great job he pitched out a couple of big jams you know against you know against Kuvet like their big guy and, and and got him out and so man I can't say much about what he did today First time this season you've hit four home runs in the game. You win a lot of those games. Great to see the power numbers up today for your boys. Yeah, it is. Great to hit, you know, one with someone on base, too, or two with, with someone on base. So that's always a plus. And, you know, have a big inning right there you know, was key for us. All right, Coach, uh, you guys take one of three here in Miami. Uh, just to, what, what do you hope this thing means for your team heading down to the final two weeks of the <clears> regular season? Yeah, we just keep getting better. Um, we can build off this and understand what it takes to win and, and just keep improving, you know, Tuesday and then in the next week and, you know, and finish the season out the right way on a strong note. How is it to play down in Miami, by the way? Just uh, the overall experience taking on a kind of a name program like the Hurricanes. Man, it's nice. Good weather. Um, I like the humidity, so I don't mind it at all. But, no, it's, it's great to be down there, and they were great hosts. And um, it's kind of cool. You see the history on the wall, those players on the wall. So it's, it's pretty cool to see mm-hmm. that. Well, on a day where you have a couple of long flights to end the day, it's nice to head home with a win, isn't it? Always better to fly home on a win, that's for sure. Coach, thank you for the time. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. All right, that is Trent Pratt, head coach of the BYU Cougars. Victoria is here against against the Miami Hurricanes. Final score is 8-2 to two here in Coral Gables. That'll do it for BYU baseball on this Saturday. It began in the morning, ends in the early afternoon back in the Mountain Time Zone. It's now 3.07 here in Miami. And, yes, we're heading off to the airport to get on a couple of planes to head home, be back late tonight. That'll do it for today. Our thanks to the crew back at BYU Radio, Kaylee Radford and Maya Tippett's. Terry South is our coordinating producer. Barry Squires, our coordinating engineer. Operations assistance from Sean O'Neill and Clark Jackman. Thanks to both schools' media relations directors, Duff Tittle from BYU and Josh White from Miami. They are the baseball communications directors for the Cougars and the Canes, respectively. So thanks to all those folks and to my color commentary colleague today. For the first time in a couple of years, BYU's baseball operations director, Tuckett Slade, was on the headset with me today. So for all of those folks, my name is Greg Rubel, reminding you that our final score is BYU 8 and Miami 2 here at Alex Rodriguez Park. Today's game took two hours and 53 minutes to play. It was played in front of 2,626 fans here in Coral Gables. That will do it. I am Greg Grubel saying, in the meantime and in between time, this has been BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. So long from South Florida. 
You've been listening to live coverage of BYU baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Live coverage of BYU baseball is brought to you by doTERRA. doTERRA, proud sponsor of the BYU baseball team. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Shane Reese, Vice President Keith Borking, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director of Corporate Sponsorships Casey Stauffer. BYU Cougars Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.